So if you take a look at this photo of um, the area that I'm drawing, um, you'll get an idea of what it means to create a 45 degree viewing window. You'll notice that this photo is slightly larger than 45 degrees. Now if you look at uh, another photo that's at an even wider angle, you can begin to see how things get a little bit distorted. So when we go to set up this drawing, you have to be very careful that you are using a 45 degree viewing window. One of the things that you'll notice um, if I have this on video is that my eye level is just above the um, concrete area right next to me. And so when you look across, you'll know that your eye level is just above the concrete on the actual building. So that's another way that you can locate your eye level height in relation to what's around you. As always, the first thing you do is create a horizon line to start with, and that's just a compositional decision. This time I have a building that's largely above me, so it's going to go in the bottom third. The next thing you do in a two-point perspective is decide where your most prominent corner is going to be and measure that off the edge of the page. And once you draw in that most prominent corner, that kind of anchors the rest of the drawing for you. And what I've done is I've measured the height of that against the 45 uh, degree viewing window and it turns out that that's um, two heights per 45 degrees. And then what you do is transpose the distance from the corner to the edge of the paper on one and pull that off the opposite side of the paper and take the distance from the other side and pull that off the other side of the page. That gives you your two vanishing points and you can mark them with objects like I've done here. Um, the, these should be 48 inches apart if you get out a large ruler or tape measure. So another thing you can do is if you have a big ruler, you can put it behind your paper while you um, do your initial setup. So all you have to do to create your, your three main planes here is just connect those lines to each vanishing point at top and bottom. So you see now I have the right plane of the building. And then with two more lines, I create the left plane of the building. And then the ground plane is implied under the building itself. So once I've done that, I can measure out the concrete blocks against the height. And there are uh, eight concrete blocks all the way up. So what I'm going to do is, uh, rather than follow this exactly, I'm going to create a situation where everything lines up with these uh, measurements of the eight concrete blocks. Um, so I'm just going to carry each of those out to the vanishing point and create uh, the beginning of a gridded structure that I can just follow to finish out my drawing. And it's not going to look exactly like the building in the pictures, but it'll be uh, perspectival. And this is where you can use the world as a reference rather than exactly copy exactly what you see. Just depends on what your goal is with your drawing.